Here we are. All right, welcome back. We're up to wave two pools here at the Big Cheese. Yeah, that's true. Here we go. So I, I think first we're going to have Nothing versus uh, Jacko. So right. Nothing Victoria. Jacko is um, from South Australia. Yeah. From Adelaide. Yeah. Nothing Victorian boy Fox. Fox. So, uh, we got Fox Diddy. Uh, this matchup is kind of like pretty much even, I reckon. I believe that they both have the tools to. Um, get in on each other and really start some nice strings. Yeah, both great characters in that. For both these players, I mean, Jacko has proven himself with some good wins in the state. Uh, nothing, this is probably the second time he's come to South Australia. Um, so I think it's just a really good team. Uh, yeah, he came in SXC 2016. And I don't think he's come any other times. So yeah, we'll have the first game of Wave 2 Pools going on right now. Yep. We're just waiting for them to choose what stage to go. So they're going FD. Um, I don't know how uh, Jacko vs. Pawn is the only like experience I'll have on I'd say that Jacko has. Yeah. Dash attack straight away. Maybe he should have done some double jab there. Get that there. Oh, nice fade away. Really, really solid so far. Monkey flipping away, maybe you should, oh, yeah, I was going to say pull the banana, but somewhere safer would be better. Up air, oh, nice air dodge, just chasing him down, what Fox does great. Yeah, Jacko's really defensive, you can see he's retreating a lot just to get him. Oh, no, just fine. that timing on the shine, like, he's just missing it. Back air, oh, he's got to get those conversions, maybe a forward air would have been better. Gets the banana. That was actually a nice play. That was like the perfect zone to pull it out because he can't punish you and you're right in his face. Ooh, yeah, nice. Like... Uh, yeah, the Ooh, up to. Can't get the up air really anymore. Unless he gets that real line. Uh... Oh, back air will take it. 120. Respectable. Oh, just misses it. Oh, no. oh, he's gone. And he's gone. Double yeah, double foot footstool. Still probably could have uh, barreled straight. Like, double jump barrel. That's, That's going to be a shame, huh? Hey? That was really dominating. Yeah, I, look, I felt like he settled down a little bit after he realized he should back up a bit. Aggressive and, and strong play throughout. Oh, smash here. Jacko likes the stage. Oh, the monkey flips straight in there. Maybe he could have like grabbed him right there as he dash back and that shield. Jabs, getting that percentage. He's gonna jab himself, but he can actually SDI down and get start selling himself. So jab is not a good option for this percentage. Oh, turn around grab. I don't know what he was doing there. Get a banana. Throw it, throw it out. Nice. Throws it. Ah, side for the ball. Oh, misses them. Down to on side beats. That's a bit of a He's trying to pull out a banana, definitely. Oh, just gets rid of it with a bear. I don't know. It probably was not intentional. Probably can't react to that. Up there. Oh. Yeah, dangerous uh, banana ball. Oh, I just thought he was going to blast into the stage. Oh, nice. Short hop. Forward air. Oh, that's up smash. That's gone. What I've noticed nothing's really doing is a really good awareness of the banana play. Like, he's using his up air, so it's just being taken over to everything he's doing. Yeah. Really solid at just breaking that zone as well. Should have gone to stage. Oh my god. 
gosh, I thought he was gonna. Oh, back throw that would take it. He's got 42%. I don't know what he's gonna do. Fox can do some. Oh, here we go. Up throw, just get him in. Make him jump. Make him like, use those resources. Really good. There we go. We're gonna get a uh, monkey flip coming in. You know what? He's not playing. Really dominating like he normally would. But here we go. Oh, it's just a plank. It's just a very hard move to get. Oh, dead. That's rough. Yeah, first game on stream is always pretty tough, um, but nothing really shows what he was doing in that matchup. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Both these players, they're sitting in a pool at the moment with, uh, let me have a look. So there's also Rust. Yeah. And Black Doc Kiss. Ines and Q. Yeah, Q, yeah, as you said, Jazzy, Taco, and Rizzle. Yeah. So we'll see what's coming out the other pool um, at the moment is We don't have anything coming on stream right now. Yeah, most of the games have just started their uh, first games. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoying the big cheese. This is a real like grassroots event, you know. Yeah, like it's really nice. It's way better than uh, the last year's event here. Yeah, and it's a nice like way to show off Smash Four in South Australia with like, you know, just a lot of uh, clever people who've who've made the community what it is. Yeah, it's great. All right, what do we have now? We don't have anything right now. Yeah, I can see uh, the Chaco. Yeah, coming out in these next two pools, there's a lot of really good games coming out. Rust, uh, I've been away from the team for a little bit, but coming back, Rust has taken the Rust is number one. one spot. Yeah, yeah, Rust is really good. He's worked um, about times anyone has to. Yeah, his there. combos are probably the best in Australia with Bayonetta. He's got one of the most frustrating like game plans as well is just really combo heavy doesn't really let you breathe it's really hard to like deal with it yeah, and, uh, yeah there he is so we have a rust right yeah. now versing someone yeah. oh, la 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 and uh one more week into ultimate not even like one kind of more week to ultimate it's pretty good. Um, yeah, like nine months ago, it got announced, and it's been pretty crazy when there's been announcements for it, uh, like different characters, different directs. It's been pretty good. It's been a pretty good ride. Uh, it's going to it's going Jacko again, maybe because we're running out of time. Yeah, that's very cold. So, yeah, two players, so I'm to I think Rust is going to come out really strong this tournament. It's going to be really hard for people to really crack on him. Yep. Yep. He's just going to Rust, you'd say, would be Ghost Duon. I mean, go not really Ghost right now because yeah. Ghost has just not really been able to take any sets from um, Rust and Duon. We're playing friendlies on Thursday night and Rust is dominating. So here we go, we got it straight away. He's just right in your face straight away. Oh, I don't know if that tech was a good option, like to roll back. Just back there again. Yeah. Oh, just yeah, he does he does those big hitboxes multiple times. Like even if you think that he might not do it this time, he's just gonna do it anyway because he knows he's safe. Yeah. And he knows he can just get away. See he's just doing it. A true labyrinth in a sense, like for us that's what I mean about him being a little harder. Perfect on the nice. Oh, oh the water, yeah, the the man. Man. Oh, dead. Skin of the makes it He's got a backhand, feeling pretty safe with it. Yeah. Backhand, throw the banana. Oh, oh dead. Oh. oh. Bravo. Such a good play. I knew yeah. he was going to do something with a banana like that, but we, I didn't know it was going to be like that. So Rust once again 
sorry, um, Jacko, once again, has to find himself uh, a way to get in and uh, start the... See, the thing with Diddy, with Diddy Kong, he doesn't really have that jank factor. He has that awesome neutral with the banana, but he doesn't have anything that will, like, swing his... Like, swing him in the lead, like, get him, like, a comeback, like, factor. It's yeah. really just, like, an oppressive, just really consistent tool in the game. But when he's behind like this, it's really hard to come back. Yeah. He still has to nickel and diamond there. And you can see Russ there throwing out the this uh, time. Threatening it. Probably one of the best counters for Smash Bros. games. Russ is playing a really good defensive game right now. He's uh, just being evasive, uh, and then real punishing, uh, really punishing Jacko for just uh, going in and trying to break it up. Yeah. I can see Jacko trying to be clever and, and, and be patient, but yeah. It's just hard right now because he's going to do this and he's, he's actually, uh, oh, that's so much percent. He would take that trade all the time. To the depths of yeah, the he's just once he has that advantage, he just just goes and goes and goes, and there's not much you can do to stop him. Pushes it to the limit. Just pushes it really hard, yeah. Which is a really good playstyle for Bayonetta, playing a really evasive game and then punishing like the hardest out of any character in the game or anyone that's here in the corner. I feel like I do feel like. Russ punishes are the best here. Oh, it's just from the banana. That's good. That's so good. Up throw. Down tilt. Here we go. Just get him. He's just. His advantage states are really good. He's missing it up. Just playing with the banana. Oh, that's great stuff. Alright, he's actually gone. Yep. Oh, doing a little bit of a walking around right now. This is so, it's just once he's in this zone, it's really hard to do anything about it. Needs that, Jacko needs that banana though, like Jacko does. He needs that banana, he needs that oppressive tool. Yeah, that's right. Back air. Oh, he should, probably should have gone for forward air because for that safe damage. He shouldn't have gone greedy with that back there, and that's a 2 0, like the quickest 2 0. Yep. The Bayo we know, the Bayo we understand. And, uh, yeah. Not just character reliant, like Rust has proved himself as a, as a good player. You know, started yeah. out as a Sheik main, worked his way to Mario, and, and also climbing. Yeah, those early days of Sheik really just taught him how to, um, you know, taught him that neutral and taught him. That he can he can throw up safe moves like a lot of the time. He can just keep throwing them out. But with Sheik, you know your moves aren't killing. Yep. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, I found playing him in the early days was so, uh, when he first started coming out. He he wasn't quite the best finisher, but he was really hard to kill even then. Like he spent a lot of time just not dying. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like to play to where he is now. I mean, we got Skewers you know, coming up against so actually Izzy. So I think um, where's Truth from? Uh, potential. Gong, Will and Gong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure I played him on for glory. Potentially, yeah. I, I the name is really familiar. So. It's great to see like these players come out, uh, not just from Victoria. It's always a strong representation in South Australia, yeah. but from the other states. We've got Queensland here as well.
Lewis hasn't, Lewis hasn't been coming to pretty much a lot lately. So this matchup, I'm not too sure how to think about it. I think Corrin does alright. Oh, there we go, nice. There we go. No, so forward airs, forward airs. I can see Trina's not really trying to play the run and uh, charge. Run and gun gun? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just trying to be in, in uh, his space. Like Lewis has been, um, Lewis has not been playing Corrin too much recently. I think he's decided to give it a go today. This is such a pain. Um, he's been playing like Pikachu and stuff. Oh wow! But just getting ready for Ultimate, really. Yeah. Um, but he's Corrin is still going for. Oh my gosh. That's it. Oh, here we go. See, I do find that penis is so. So good. It's so impressive. Yeah. You know, you just throw it out there. Very safe. Mm, not the safest recovery. I don't think there's any other corns today. This is, uh, this is nice. Back row. That forward to push him perfectly. Oh, and then he gets that uh, forward smash. And it's because Clouds just sucks at getting to the, like, sweep on the ledge. Which corns are really just abusing. Yeah, grab, back throw. Ooh, oh, that's an SD, yeah. The pressure is really on. You can see the truth is really feeling like it's so hard to pass and get back into my rhythm. But skills wouldn't let him. Even though Corrin is a very slow character, um, just the range of all the moves and all the threats that can, like, just come out so instantly, like, can. Um, you have a very comfortable time, like in neutral. Yeah, you, you just, just, just throw it out. You know, kick back if it's not safe. Um, so only a, like a few characters can actually punish it. So taking it back, then let's see if Trin can redeem himself. Put those up airs on those buttons. As well. Yeah. Once again, no little charges coming straight in there. Yeah, just jump out. That's great. And then you can land in there, which is such a good tool. <laughs> Oh, up there, up there. Stage, up there. Stage, up there. Yeah. I thought that choice, but yeah, no. It's pretty even so far, but I still think Lewis is. Oh, I still think Lewis has a bit of control. Yeah. Um, I can see perhaps there are Oh, that was a really quick, um, that was a really quick uh, ledge trump there, but yeah, he's moving pretty quickly through this. Uh, man, Lewis just has all this stage control. Um, sometimes in this game, even if you're at, like, a, like a high percent, like, if you have the control of the game, then you really, like, you can, like, you can still be in the lead. Like, you're pretty much in the lead. Getting that jump. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Forward smash is just going to get punished for the Just enough. Yeah, and now, like, um, he has him at the edge. This is a really tough time. Throw him away. Down to it. Oh, good option. Knowing that. Um, oh, wow. wow that's a good smash on the platform. Probably thought that he was going to do the exact that option. Like, pin on the platform. Oh, and then he answers straight right back. Right. Like Corrin has those like little like places that she can just like get. Which is really nice. More throw. Yeah, that's a good punish there with dash pain because that could be maybe not space the best. Up to about there. It feels fine to play back with a new try back to the ground. Has this advantage right now. He's 
actually in the lead. But, you know, Cloud is a glass cannon. You know, it's just, he has to do this really aggressive option to get back on stage, which he does. Oh, no. He's lost that limit. He's lost that threat now. But still has the stage control. Can charge limit again. And, um, let's just go again. Yep. Just throws him away. I don't know why. Yeah, there's, there's not really much to be gained out of the uh, more chance to charge oh, no. limit. Up here. Might take that. Alright, limit back on deck. Oh! Yeah, the aerial speed's just amazing once you get He's got a cross slash. Oh, I, who you expected that one to hit? I don't know. So here comes the, the rage factor. It's, it's good to catch him. Yeah, so oh my god, did you see how high he went? Wow. Yep. Second down throw. And we're going to see oh, he's gonna be. now. Oh! oh let's go, yeah. shield. Yeehaw! Good stuff there, my friend. Really oh. things from the first game and converting to a, a solid game two win. Alright, game three. Spears with the stage pick. Oh, yeah. He could switch up characters, but I don't think he's going to do that. Not really. They're going straight in over to Smashville. Smashville, welcome. Three, two, Here we go. One. <laughs> Jabs. Oh, they're both no, grabbing. It's always like a handshake. Yeah, it's like, mm, you know, just a. Very much did the same thing there. Had the same idea. Oh, lost his jump. Maybe he could have just jumped Ned to the dead dodge. Grab. Get up the stage. Control. You know, he's got this. They can't recover so much distance. Oh, he missed time that up there. Like, yeah, Trish really yeah. finding a hard time to just get more sets of neutral right now. He had the same idea, like, he had a good idea grabbing, but he just missed space. It's a lot about these missed space, like, you know, bad time. Like, not bad. Just not the best timing. See, so he could have, he was going for another upper again, he just did it too late. Yeah, Skill's also really dominating with his grabs, just pulling out the skill. And, uh, wow. Oh, the that threat! The threat of the cross slash is just immaculate. Yeah, a bit of a, a, bit of a scary moment. The, oh, and then he chops it. He completely swung the game, but now it's even. Yep. It's good. Oh, then he's gonna try. Oh, here we go. Brad. That's the team. Yeah, you're gonna take. You're gonna be able to take out of that situation, man. Oh, back there, nice. Up to, up here, back here. Great advantage stay there. Just um, covering that option so he does air dodge and you're back on the ground. But he uh, did get out of that. Then now he's got him back in this situation. Oh. Holding the pin. Oh. Yes. oh! Whoa, with technology. He did it again. He just did it straight away. That was sick. Stone Cold stand out. I don't think anyone was. I wasn't expecting that. I've never oh. seen him do that before. Um, He's got Oh! That's gonna take know. it. I do think. Right someone in that set was playing Whoa. a bit better than the other person. Yeah, it's uh, but, it yeah. was a bit unfortunate um, for Spurious. I mean, but that's the the power of Cloud. You know, you really have to respect yeah. it. And you know, for all the tough times Cloud has yeah. getting back on stage, well. Um, would it. anyone else be able to commentate right now? I'm feeling a bit like. John, we now have Josh, local legend, goes to come and join us. Survival. And yeah, straight to the next game. Who we got? Nothing here. Oh, we got the fox in here. It's always pretty. Uh, fox it is very well done. So it's pretty yep. fun to watch. And there's a lot of pride between all the fox fans. So they've got their rivalry. seen these players on stream? Yeah, yeah we, we, yep. we've seen nothing on, um, okay. but we haven't seen either step. We haven't seen it yet. Galacticus. Yeah, Galacticus. Yeah. Alright, the 
Yeah, can I control set up? I wonder what stage they'll go to. Yeah. Um, obviously in a ditto, you can just do whatever you want, so. Yeah, it's probably back to the first one, so it's not better too much of a match against some of the picks. I imagine one of them will ban Violet out, someone else will probably ban, like, Town out. Yep. We might go to FD or Smackville or something. Likely. Nice dittos against John and, uh, yeah, yeah. We're just like, yeah, I just want to go battlefield. And in the MK Ditto, it's the least, like, volatile stage, because the last ones are bigger. Yep. And MK has a lot of, like, blood percent kill confirms. Alright, so they're going battlefield. Yep. This is, this, it, the flip side for this matchup, it's, this matchup is way more volatile than battlefield. Because of all, like, the combo of the dark So we'll see. Jab is so good, man. Eats your eats your shield up. Yeah, up there. Gets the weak weak up tilt up all true. Puts him in a huge game. I wasn't sure whether the up air would be true or not. Um, like the second up air. So, like, you know. so I think Anus saw the same thing, or maybe he'll just be out of air dodge yeah. out and nothing was nothing was ahead of the head of the game. Mm. He saw that air dodge coming from one. That's that's how volatile this matchup can be. I think you up tilted on the platform at like fifty or something and then just up air to uh, yeah. takes the stock. Starting up similarly to the previous one. Yeah. But Anus does find the match find his way down to the main platform this time, so we can start playing a neutral again. Oh, misplaces the ball. That is a stop. There we go. Yeah. Mine's right standing as well. Yeah. And catches it. There we go. I think he won about two neutral exchanges, and then he and took, yeah. took the stop from like a very low percent. Triple up air is just the same, the same damage output. Nice. Get out for some right option. Yep. Rain. Four down. Yeah, it's bad. Almost a mirror. Oh, oh, so much games. damage. Yeah. That's an interesting angle, and he held down as well. Yeah. He caught, he caught Anus off guard, and then basically got the kill for it because he chased him down from the back end. He tried to land. That won't work on Firefox. He had no jump, I don't think he, even if that side didn't kill him, like, off the side, I think he didn't, didn't have enough distance to make it back. No. So, very strong response. Yeah. Game three? Probably. Another game three, it's good. Yeah, I wonder if they'll just go back to the same stage. <laughs> yeah, they're going in quick, so it sounds like they've got a... Uh, nope. Right, FD. So we are switching it up a little bit. Right. I guess nothing decided that Aiden's got a little bit too much on the platforms that game. Go! Mashes the A button faster in that yeah. situation, so he gets the yeah. yeah. A. Yeah. It's punished with a forward facing up to it as well. 
room's got like skins everywhere. Jam is a really good option if they have a different holds you in that situation for bots, because it's like it auto cancels and it's safe. Wow. Nothing vindicated. Yeah. His choice is taking the yeah. He's showing a strong start, but he's got to get himself back to the end. Yeah, of course. Every time I see the box off stage, I, uh, I fear a little bit. You know, the game gets the same. Yeah. from like, behind, it was in front of him and the back air just worked. He traded, I think, F tilt with up tilt or something and yeah. it confirmed into his own back air. <laughs> that was oh well. a little bit of a cheesy end to that game. It yeah. was, but yeah. uh, he'll take yeah. it. Yeah. He had the lead. Fox Dittos. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm not sure who we've got on next, but we'll find out. So how's your uh, big cheese been so far? It's great, yeah. Well, I had some shaky sets and pulls, but still Sweat managed to sleep with all, like, one of the sets, so. Uh, it's a sweet little send-up for uh, Smash 4. Yeah. It's good to, uh, I'll, I'm glad to see the state support of it. And um, also, big shout-outs to Jack Henderson, uh, yes. friend of Lerat, for putting it on. It's always been talked about the big cheese, like, but now here we are. It's this great. event would not yeah. have been close to possible about Flowrats putting in all the organizational effort. All right, so control is setting up and looking behind. Andre versus Sad Hour. Yeah. All right. <laughs> have either of these players played on stream yet? Uh, no, they one? haven't played on stream okay. yet. Uh, I guess Andre has been doing a lot of uh, organizing pulls and stuff. I think he's had a lot of practice this morning. I'm sure he's played the game. Yeah, that's the rough part of being a like TO is you have less time to um, just get like practice. Yeah, warm up yourself. So yeah. sit there telling you to get on off everyone off friendlies. Yeah. Mark. Okay, Mark's yours. Yeah. Ah. That trip I think is very even. It's like at top level it seems to go back and forth a lot. So. So I haven't seen his uh, Mark. Really? Yeah, I think it marks his name, but back in the day it would be Robin, but I'm thinking the better fire character now. Right. Oh, there we go. Bit of del deliberation over the stages, but oh. end up with the old the, the old two, one, go! Alright. <laughs> he starts off, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's getting a cute amount of damage off that. Uh, just the Zare. Yeah. Gets pulled out there. That's a lot of damage. Zeriusy has the privilege she can sort of out space mark in the air because she can outrage the there. Yeah, so if you like jump back at the same time as Mark jumps towards you, you can like hit him. But that's what kind of Andre is playing. He's playing pretty reserved in the Alright, going up here. Yeah. Oh. Grab. Coverage by Sadow, but does get caught by Andre right now. Yeah. There we go. Yep. So 
mean, similar thing, Andre wanted to outspace that. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, but Andre wanted to outspace a forward air over Zare, but Sadow just jumped in too quick for Andre. So he basically got him off stage and got the kill. Oh, I guess the auto could still not the one you want. Yeah. Taking advantage of the stock lead. Yeah. He's doing a really good job of calling out all Andre's jumps. He'll just jump in with an air or a water, um, swing at him. Let's see, he tries to catch him there as well. Every time Andre's jumping, he's getting caught. Kick or just a medium smash, maybe, but. Okay, interesting. Yeah, see, so yeah. again, pulls out the jump. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of not obvious, but the, the fact that. Like, yeah, now Andre dies to a grab. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Let us know in the chat if the voice is any better. I'll just move the mic a bit closer. Yeah. Is there any control high in it? It really needs that we don't want to mess with his levels on yeah. the mixer. Yeah, I think, I think it was probably just the mic was a little bit far away. Three, All right. Two, game two. One. Like, Sato obviously had control of that game. Like, he kind of learned Andre's habits and comes to jump in and just kind of, uh, you know, he didn't beat him down for a while, and so he, he, Andre really needs to mix it up this game. Yeah, he's got his town and city, which uh, yeah. you know, you should feel happy with. His, and you can just die at any point. Yeah. Not, no, okay, he did dead. Yep, good stuff. Yep. Platform extensions are just really powerful. Yeah. A uh, sure hop dancing play, that one doesn't combo. <laughs> I, I think he must have accidentally jumped. Oh, down interesting. Good shield pressure. Okay. Playing in zero C on this stage is so scary. You yeah. just die at like, almost any point. Yeah, no, that was yeah. So yeah. Like oh, nice follow. Okay. Yeah. Just flip kick is so strong for getting out of like combos that aren't quite true. Whereas other characters might not be able to jump out in time, but zero suit always just flip kick away. Stage pressure off. And yeah. No. Ooh, just straight into the platform. Oh, oh, man. But it catches him again. Wow. Good response. Great retaliation. Yeah. He does. He did have the the pretty. The stage is pretty advantage for Zeus, and we saw that in the first stock, but he also just kind of won the second stock pretty honestly, I'd say. So. Yes. See what he did. Going to FD, it looks like. Yeah, okay. I think, think it's a good pick for Ma against Zeus. Game three. We've had a lot of game three on the streams. Yeah. You always want to see close sets, especially. Got him on the ledge. Oh, it's kind of up his mind. I think he's reading a jump. That was a nice landing down. And again. Evening right up. Just dancing like Zeus yes. right now. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I thought he'd go for it again. Wow, he just keeps catching it. He's mixing up his grabs enough with like the dancing blades to like be out of here with both of them, right? Like when Andre's trying to shield the dancing blade, he'll get hit by grab and then um, he expects to like grab your game by dancing blade. Okay. Good position, yeah, good catch on the landing. Not a kill, but he's got a pretty good position. 
Somebody's got to be very careful right now. He doesn't get the correct hit of the jab, like he gets the, uh, he gets the tip of hit. Yeah, no. goes out. Nice catch on the landing. Alright. That's such a good out of shield option. Because I think Andre was trying to jab, like, which would be a grab, but isn't fast enough to be the up B. Not much risk to use that by the stand. Yeah. So scary. Okay. Yeah. Is this, he's still alive, but now he has full rage. He's still alive. Okay. He's, he's dead, surely. Yeah. Pretty. You gotta be relieved if you when you start out. You take the full rage zero suit stock, like, because you were at risk of dying just as much as the opponent was. Now you can kind of play the game a bit. It's a bit more. Same, same as last dog, just getting a lot of damage. No! Wow. wow, okay. Brave F smash. Andre yeah. Andre is a bit shook. I can feel it. Plus the percentage lead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A strong start. He's really staring down the barrel. I think anyone would be shook after, after that tip We're kicking the hell out of there. Nice air dodge plus paralyzer to get the aerial. Okay. Combo? Yeah, nice. Get some damage. Wow. There we go. 50 50 back. Nah, just pulls down the border, out. yeah. Aggressive, aggressive option to get out of that. Wow. See, Andre does the thing that uh, Sadao was trying to do to him. He pulls out Sadao's jump. What? We're okay. Oh, no oh, tip. This is the tip. Yeah. Andre Lloyd's just barely alive right so now. So tense right now. No, he's dead. No, he's fine. No, he's it not is. fine. No sparks side there. Wow. No, I lied. He is dead. Uh, Andre unable to touch it out, but really quality play there by Sadow. That's such a that was such a close game as well. Yeah. Sadow managed to bring it back all the way. Nice performance. I got. I'm not sure who got Jazzy. Jazzy, Jazzy and Galacticus. Yep. All right. So. Like, like Anus would be the favorite for the set, obviously, but yeah. anything can happen. Jazzy also Yoshi main, right? Or no? Yeah, Jazzy plays Yoshi, but he also plays a little bit of like Samus and uh, oh. Samus and who else? Just like someone else supposed to be in friendlies, but I can't remember. Yoshi. Maybe Mewtwo. It might have been like Yoshi, Mewtwo, and like uh, Yoshi, Mewtwo, Samus sort of thing. He gave us Yoshi there. Yep. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's um, playing it for the DK. It's uh, achievable. Oh, they get yeah. Three, two, one, go! So yeah, he, without any disjoints, it gets kind of hard to put on the safe pressure. Yeah. Starting with some up tilts. Right. DK uh, is pretty big though, so he kind of gets there's a lot of combos that like work on DK, but has, on the, from the Yoshi side. Up to just covers all around you, so you can't really try and air dodge past the cage game by it. Yeah, yeah. That's not really that. the Ooh. Yoshi's, yeah. nah. Yoshi's air mobility is really good, so he can just kind of fade away from the game up smash. Don't get, don't get grabbed up there. Hey, he's putting in some solid pressure on Black with this. Yeah. You gotta be really there. careful with this percent though. Yeah, especially with back hairs and things like that. Oh! Oh! oh, oh that would amazing! Go. Yeah. With the footstool off of the down air. Oh. Okay, no trip from that down tilt. Oh, he's dead. That's it. Oh, Ooh. too high apparently.
catches the edge again. Yes. Very nice coverage of Yoshi's recovery. Like, tends to have some like limited options. So. Find the grab coverage. We haven't seen a lot of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice grab. Oh, nice. that was such a good trade for Anus. It's okay for catching the jump in that scenario, yeah, but it's pretty niche. Manages to pull out of these, like, others. Yoshi's obviously the range isn't too big. I believe Messi's uh, yes, in Kill the Sand right now for the Ding Dong. Maybe. Okay. Eggs really charging those up yeah. really early to try and call it out, but. Yeah. It's not really working out. No. It's no, he has yeah, no jump. No jump yeah. yeah, that's so easy to cover. Yeah. The issue about a jump is just see he has a very linear pathway back to the stage. That's so it. You just kind of get in the way and you hit him. Like, that's all he has to do. Yeah, it's uh, Battlefield counter pick is interesting. I'm not like the ding dong wasn't really relevant, so the high uh, ceiling probably wasn't too relevant. But um, yeah, you can watch out the grabs up on fires. Yeah, yeah, you can you can pressure DK on platforms really easily with Yoshi though, like Yoshi down air. Yep. It's so big. Nice, nice shot above that. This is what Jazzy wants. Just keep it in the platform. Oh, but yeah, and maybe a grab. Almost dies to down air upset. Really good grab. Right, man. Oh, Nairs aren't getting punished. Oh, missing the upset. I want to go to ledge because, you know, being on ledge sucks, but it's kind of just falls into the stage and gets much for it. Alright, uh, DK's really yeah. heavy, so. Oh, again? Oh, DK oh, just take There we go. Out. But DK's still heavy enough to live. Uh, that was not just accidental side Was that because it's a hard time to play? This is just a nah. This is the back end, bro. Oh. He goes for some style. Yeah. Nah, he's not fast enough to get there. Yep. I kind of expected that off forward air to come out. I wasn't sure if he'd be out of here with it, but yeah. Finishes the game in style. Some good stuff by Jazzy, but obviously the... Uh, you know, I think it would be fair to say that this is the expected result. Yeah. We just saw... He covered his recovery options really well, I think, most of the set. He, Jazzy would try and, you know, double jump air dodge onto stage and he just gets swatted back and then now he has no double jump and he just has no, like, you... He only has up B to mix up his yep. recovery and it's not really good enough, so... Okay. Alright. Got spectators and uh, no players hovering yet. Not yet. So... Well, we're, we're getting work our way through the second wave. Uh, yeah. I guess tomorrow is the next stage, or do we have more after this Top wave? Top 16 Tip, yeah, yeah. is tomorrow. Top 16 is tomorrow. Today, so after this... Wave 2. After Wave 2, we'll just be all of doubles will be today. Oh, right, yep. And I assume that will be streamed on him, but no way. Don't quote me. Survival. Looks like they are still figuring out who to put on stream. Have you been following all the uh, Twitter ultimate combos that people are like yeah, putting yeah. on there? Yeah, it's, it's hard to avoid, but it's good to see. Like, um, especially like for me, I mean, some people say it's, don't just go for the story. I mean, I have stories. So I will avoid it oh, anyway. But it's not. I haven't seen. Like, I don't know. It's funny people complain about that because I've literally I've been following all the all the stuff and I've not seen anything about World of Light. Yeah, but no, all no. I hear is like, Sagar is going to be so sad that World of Light was spoiled, and I'm like. 
nobody is posting about that. Nobody cares about Lord of Light. They're all posting about like Combo this character. This guy, yeah, all, exactly. It's all like, look at this setup this character has. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Here's all the music. Like, yeah. It's not unprecedented to have a, a leak, but it's really quite early. For Two weeks. Leaks, yeah. For the whole game, yeah. yeah. For the whole, yeah, indeed, the whole game. So, yeah, countdown's on. I like less than a week. It's kind of like, it's a bit unfortunate that like some people get to like experiment a little bit before other people, but like it will balance out within like the That's first right. month, That's so right. it's not a huge deal. The, the pace of knowledge gathering has really like become very efficient, I think, compared to like, um, you know, Smash 4, but even like small days and stuff I think like Smash that. 4, we had a similar like, in Smash 4 it was a bit weird because we had the 3DS first and like, uh, so. Some people had the J Japanese 3DS version, which came out before the worldwide one. Yep. They got to the lab a bit more, so it's kind of a similar situation as what we've got now. Um, Some less understood mechanics in Rage in the beginning and things like that. Yeah. It's sort of but yeah, anyway, we're getting into Jiron and Andre. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah. See how the second is popping out the Mario. John says he only loses to SA players because he doesn't try. So if he loses the set, he's, he's already got his free Johns out. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's got Mario, so. I wonder if this is just like, like what he actually thinks he should play in the matchup, or if he's just like, oh, I don't really like, you know, like whether whether he thinks this is a better pick than Fox or not. But I guess we'll see how this game goes. Yep. Mario's down air doesn't actually combo into itself. Uh, he doesn't have enough rage, so you can seriously you can just flip kick out. Yep. Yeah. I think Andre might have lost his jump and his flip kick in that, that up tilt chain. Yeah, no yeah, dodge. Safe. Safe just flip kick away. Mario can't get through it. So much damage. This is brave. Oh, almost stick tree combo. That's unfortunate. Yeah. He, he got the sour spot of the down smash and thought he got the sweet spot, so Jordan popped out just in time. That's dead. Yeah. So, takes with punish. That's the risk whenever you go for a jab to up B. It's not actually true. If, and if they hold shield, you won't get it. Yep. Uh, this is it? Yes. Such a stuff. Life saying second stock for both players. It's a good game as well. It's only been like a minute and they've already both lost their stock. Down smash. Crossing up the dash attack. Play, outplaying him in neutral so well at the moment, covering all his options. But Mario's combo is uh, disgusting, so. Still going? Nah. Okay. Good damage. Gets the auto footstool, which he didn't want to get. But. Yeah. No! DI in. Mario is a character in this game. <laughs> so, uh, you know. He did the zero suit to zero suit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit feels bad. Yeah, that's just kind of the risks when you go to town. Mario can rage jank you. Just like the same way that you zero suit can rage jank the opponent. Battlefield, a bit more favored for Zero Suit in Smash Bros. I wonder what he banned though, if not at this stage. Ooh, Michael jumps really trying to escape the pressure of your When Mario's right next to you, his buttons are just so aggressive. Like when he gets like an up air or a back air low percent, he's almost always going to get a grab from it. Oh, he's grab on the platform. There Keep we go. Going. Nah. Well, I was waiting for that. Yeah. Good option, but um, not quite. Not quite space. It's okay. Just ninety percent unanswered right now, but okay. getting something started. Doing so lucky that Ned traded. I mean, if that Ned doesn't trade, I think Andre maybe gets the stock. Like 
Dying right now. Nah, it's okay. Nah, no air dodge. Smart. This is dead. That's, that's, he hit, yeah, he's using Battlefield exactly how he intended to when he picked the stage. <laughs> Mario doesn't have a lot of burst mobility options, and when Mario gets caught above Zero Suit, it can be really rough for him to actually get down. Characters like, oh, some other characters maybe with like cheek down air can, you know, make their way down a lot easier, but Mario doesn't have any of that. Wow, no jump, but yeah, yeah, he's just dead. Yeah. I wasn't sure whether the magnet hands would be just large enough or not, but they weren't. Yeah. And again, we're going to game three. After game one was a bit, a uh, bit more favored. Game two was a very strong response from Andre. Character switch or Mario's gonna follow through? It felt like he just lost to the stage there. Yeah. He outplayed him like stock one, got like 90%, um, and then got caught in just like the loop of up air, up air, up airs, try and get out, get caught by another up air, die, like. Back to town. City, yeah. We will have to see. <laughs> for both characters here. Very volatile on the stage. That's for sure. Oh. Okay. That's punishable, yep. Yeah. Nice. So after the up air, you can see Andre faded back to avoid like John getting the nair, and then he whip punishes the nair with the neutral beam to keep the keep combo going. Yep. If they jump, I think they die. I think that's what that does. Yep. The cape like boosts them into the blast zone. It's a good lead, but yeah, against the game one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, full speed up. Max out of the jab. Platform? No. Okay. Yeah, it just runs after him, but seriously, it's got a lot of ways to avoid landing traps. Dead? Catches the, uh, dead Not dead. Okay, yeah. doesn't get a spike, unfortunately. I haven't seen a lot of trumps from Andre yet. Just, uh, I wonder if he's like saving him for this for this situation, basically, last game. Oh. So hard to catch Mario's air dodge because he's such a small character. Back throwing him, but tries to read a roll and up smash. There oh, is it is. so he's dead, goes for it. But even Joan even rolled away to avoid the trump. But Andre, because uh, Zero Suit's tether, you can let go of the grab and ledge immediately. He, he had enough time to jump to where the roll position and then kill him with up tilt. So, just really nice play. Yep. You cover both. You cover like roll and you cover not holding onto ledge. And actually, I know a fact about this, but these. Players nice. are one and one against one another, so this is the, this is the deciding this is set. Special decider. Yeah. Very Andre is in a pretty good spot right now, but Mario Mario combos are a thing as we saw last last time we were here. Nice. Okay. What is this? That's just a lot of damage. There we go. Nice. Gonna do some more damage. Nah, no way up. I really like Andre's position right now, but he has to be really careful not to get grabbed. Yeah, you can see that you can see spacing, he runs really he, He's fishing for that specific option. But here's the situation. Mario no burst mobility, how does he get down? Manages to find it. Oh no. Wow. Oh, oh, if he got Ooh. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> if he got another hit of that up B, I I think Andre would have died. He just barely lived from the first multi-hit. That should be dead. No. Nope. Doesn't react in time. Just up. Easy. No! Oh, wow. And Mario's no insane! That's the power of rage. Mario. He got he was at 33, he got grabbed twice, and that was his, that was the game. Yeah. Two on the set um, score and the fir the first grab combo almost killed, the second one did kill. Mario yeah that with, with rage you can't you can't get out of that down air and it just has insane knockback base knockback so it just scales so well. Yeah, there, there.
You got. Oh, I laughed. Sorry. Sorry, stream. You got outplayed. You got outplayed. Lucas, outplayed. He knew his win condition. Sorry, I shouted into the mic there. Um, I, Juwan knew his win condition. Uh, he, Andre got outplayed. What do you reckon? Outplayed. <laughs> yep, 2 1 set and uh, 2 1 overall for them, unless they meet again in this tournament. <laughs> I don't want to be like, hold some in a week, but, you know, Smash 4 is a silly game sometimes. But some of the things I've seen in the new game are just as silly, so. Oh, it's going to be, and, you know, there's a patch approach mentality to it, so. I hope. We'll see. I hope Nintendo just doesn't patch out all the cool things, though, because they kind of did that a little bit with this game. Obviously, we still have a lot of silly stuff left in with, like, Bayonetta and Zero Suit, but um, a lot of the, some of the silly stuff early on got all patched out. Like, you can say, like, they, they did a lot of nerfs, so I would have preferred just more buffs. buffs yeah, I, I think that's probably a good way to look at it. And it's a different type of mentality compared to, say, your, like, MOBA team or, like, other games where they've got... This is a very dedicated section just to, like, balance and find you. Yeah. MOBAs... So, yeah, I don't really want to get into that whole discussion, but... It's a big one. MOBAs don't balance for balance. They balance for variety. Like, they, they intentionally make certain characters suck and certain characters good, so there's a constantly rotating champion yeah. pool. Whereas in Smash, I think the, the devs wanted more Overall to bring balance. everyone to a similar level, rather yeah. than just to be like, okay, so this guy's for a couple months we'll have Cloud top tier, and then for a couple months we'll have Sheik or something. They I think it's, it's different, different, different dev teams, like different designs. Is this, is this already over? Is it already over? Yeah. We are rusting to our items now. Good. Rusting okay. with a few people to get a 2 on stream today. Yeah. Against Jacko, so I'm looking forward to it. It was very convincing to her against Jacko as well. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I thought he might have been able to get up air and some more up air, but it just gets the back air. More position. Wow. The bats, but almost. Okay, yeah, he still gets the follow up. Boxes frame data is so good. He, he can really box Bayo up close when he gets there. Oh, just too slow. Nope. I think. Yeah. There we go. Just call that a jump. Whenever someone sends shields standing next to you, they don't really want to sit there because you can just grab them, so they're likely to jump out or roll out. And uh, Anus, Anus read the jump in that scenario and gets the kill. It's kind of. Uh, Ironic, like when they're in shield, that's like sometimes that's the best opportunity to go for attack because you don't expect them to stay in shield. Oh, nice. There's so much pressure right now. He's playing around Bale's options really well. Nice. Yeah, this is a really good group. Like, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. Nice follow up. Doesn't doesn't get a follow up on the side beat though. The side beat itself is really good. Oh, okay. Uh, which time? Okay. No, no, which time? I feel like that's a pretty stuff, but almost. Okay. Nice. And back. Yep. My percentage lead, but uh. Yeah, I mean, with, with we've seen Lethal last game, and we know Bayonet is like the queen of uh, cheesing you out of the game, so. There we go. Ooh, one, two. Wow, that almost didn't kill us off. Well, but yeah. Just like, yeah, the, the one, two up smash. Frame two kill confirms. Bayonet wishes she had a frame two kill confirm. <laughs> Fox is a good character as well. Someone put out, I think it was like. The buzz or something? I don't know if it's the buzz. It was someone, someone, maybe it was Lisa, put out a tier list recently for like the last national tier list, and it was like, Fox, he put Fox like third or something ridiculous. Yeah. And it's like, I don't really, I don't think he has, I don't think there's enough data to show Fox is quite that good, but. I was sitting there amongst some yeah. of the best, but yeah. He's got, theoretically, he's got some really strong options, like, and all of his confirms into their footstool. You know? But. Gets a, gets a little bit of shame for Blazer. So say goodbye to songs like this and Smash Ultimate. Like, the guy the more high.
back in Cyber Route, although I'm not is it is this song not in? Because uh, I'm not sure. I think with the I think they they want to go back to the mentality of like yeah. much more like pump it up music. I know all the remixes are like pumped up music, but so there's a lot of just songs that are in the game that aren't like necessarily battle music, you know what I mean? Yep. Okay, she jumps out. Oh, almost outspaces that back here. Oh, he gets the jump short, but he's fine. Nah, he's alright. Nah. So what do you think Rush has got to do? Yeah, there we go. So that frame, obviously that's a option select, you know. They add dodge, they just get by the back air, because Bayonetta's areas have no lag. Aw, oh, Fox out of that combo, apparently. Fox is one of the best characters, I think, at, um, when Bayo's on the ledge, he kind of has all the tools to like deal with all the get up options. Punish on it. Alright. There we go. See how he can full hop over any like jumping aerials Bayo does and gets like a, a back air punish. It's really effective. Oh no, oh no, that's. Oh, uh, that's we're alright, we're okay. We're both players are alive. Somehow. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant punish under the stage. Yeah. So he got a really good read on the air dodge, but unfortunately missed his uh, execution on the fair footstool, which would have been a kill. Uh, and then there <laughs> was a little bit of shenanigans going on in Rust. Yeah, bit of At a the end, they managed just to get the kill. A bit of a get out of jail free on that one. But, uh, yeah. Yet another close close set. Um, stage picks and, and strategies, what do you think? I think Battlefield should be banned by Rust, but I guess we're going there, so. Must have been FD or something. Three, um, two, yeah, I think it's hard, It's rough to be an ace in that spot because you know you had the win, but you just missed your execution at the end. Uh, but there's always the next game, and especially when you're encounter. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we we had like pretty, you know, like lost the music on the last stage and now we have the absolute worst song <laughs> that in, in this game on Battlefield. Like, Trophy Rush is not a fun time. Looks like Punish really oh. taking it. He tries to just up air him off the top, but doesn't get quite get it. I think that was kind of a smart option. Yeah. There we go. Jumps away. He's fine. Bob just have being really fast ball that helps him a lot when he wants to like try and avoid juggles. Laser roll back, yeah. Oh, okay. Not sure about that. Okay, mine just to sneak fast. First one can be very important. Yeah. Nice dash tag, Russ. Like, dash tag's a really good middle option, and if it misses, you know, you probably die, but that's good. Um, if you miss the dash tag, you probably die, but he's calling out Dykes' like, rollbacks or jumps really well with his dash tags, and then gets an advantage, and then pushes that advantage for the stop. So, this is bad, but okay. Very dangerous. Fair one. Oh. Uh, the which time, that might have been the end of the game. Then it's set. The position is so scary as the opponent against me. Does he still have a jump? Yeah, he managed to jump away. Just about. He's really scared. You can see he's like yeah. constantly walking away, trying to roll away. And Rust is just kind of, he's, he's reading it and he's starting to overshoot his options to catch him on the wall back. Nice. Back air does outspace the forward air from Bayo on the ledge, so it's a good way to get a kill with Rust. Oh, that's slow. Alright, he's fine. Okay, oh, he misses it again. Wow. It's alright. It's okay. Off the top combo is off the stage. Oh, he's dead now. Yeah. That's sad. Good game. Good set. He's dead. Himself. There we go. Yeah, he just played like really well in that set, but uh, yeah, it's he a did. tough call. And he had like two situations. Well, I don't think the one on Battlefield would have killed, but the one on the 
the game two fair that he like he didn't he missed the fast forward to get like the confirm. It's a bit unfortunate. But Russ will take any advantage and he'll win the game. So who and him takes the set, so well played. John's back and uh, so is Spurs. I'm not sure when the last time these two played is, but yeah. I know it expand gong, um, Lewis beat Juan in pools, but Lewis ended up drowning there, which was really unfortunate, so. Interesting to see who's making out of these pools. There's been a lot of games happening, obviously, off stream. Yeah. I don't know if there's been any upsets or anything like that. And with like a lot, with eight people, it often comes down to like uh, set ties. Yep. And you got a good game scores. We had a couple of those in the previous, the previous round of pools. Nike's Dashy had t tied sets, and also I think uh, Coop and John had tied sets. But okay. So this matchup is uh, definitely favored for Fox, but Karin has a lot of tools, so. Yeah, I know that uh, Spurs laments having to fight yeah. too many boxes, but. But I mean, he, his character's good enough that yeah, like, he can right. be with any other character in the game, so. We've seen the disgusting things Karin can do. Playing a little too slow, Joan just all over him. Okay, interesting how that combo is. Nice. Catches a dash in with a jab. Uh, I think he wanted to go lower. Yeah. Oh, that's punishable, yeah. Okay. Ends up behind him somehow. Nice. Nice ball jump. Side B to get on stage. Avoids having to be on ledge and get off the ledge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Very difficult to punish. Finn's basically unpunishable, but you see now he's at ledge. Okay, he manages to get back, but you don't punish the initial pin, but you can punish the positioning. But based on the position, you get off the ledge. Okay, he doesn't get a stage spike, but does get good positioning. And that should be dead. Oh no! He just misses the pin. Uh, he wants it. Everyone knows he wants it. Yeah, of course. Oh. Awkward position. Is that it? It is yeah. it. Good option. I don't think Joe would expect that option, because that's a, obviously like a really punishable option to yep. uh, like jump up there, but it does beat the short, like the back air, like, like if you're just trying to go for it. So. Just good option to like, like op option. Good selection of an option by skills. Yeah, landing there. Torrents will always do it. Just feeling a little bit more comfortable here. Yeah. The struggle is that like Fox's kill confirms will start working another like 10%. It doesn't actually get there in time. That one we will. Nice find. Just been using a lot of those uh, just to stare out some defense. He did two in a row in the last game. Is he okay? He's okay. This is a tech, but it actually goes to ledge, that's fine. Oh, I you know, might have been waiting for a roll, but I think at the time he went for it. Yeah, anyway. He's, he's gonna struggle, he's dead. I think he, yeah. The kick in was a bit, uh, a bit hopeful, yeah. Good, it was just a good trump by Jordan. and Fox has so much coverage. It's really hard to go anywhere. If you go back to ledge, you just get down smashed. If you try and go on stage, you're just gonna get up tilted or up smashed, so. It's game one, though. See what the next stage is. Just straight back. Straight back. I actually think this is a good option by Spears. I think I don't like I don't think Smash was actually a very good stage for Fox in general. Mm. Oh wow. Yikes! I can't say that. Yikes! Have you ever seen this error before? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that we use are getting old, I think. Yeah. Wow. All right. Do we want a new disc? I, I okay, so it's it says disc read error and like the disc may be dirty, but I think this is more of a, I think this is more an issue of the actual yeah. disc drive giving out. Yeah. Restart the game. Yeah, no, they shouldn't have played this game when they. Was I'm a big proponent of physical media, but yeah, this I is mean, a problem with physical media. Yeah, oh, exactly. Um, if
if we want to swap, we should swap the entire console. It becomes somewhat of like an <laughs> ethical <laughs> conundrum. Like yeah, if famous last words by doing. I doubt it will happen again. Exactly. <laughs> Surely not. All right. Well, I mean, if it does, to be fair, if it happens, it's going to happen on the load, yes. most likely, right? Now we everything's loaded. It shouldn't happen again. Oh, oh there it uh, is. Famous last words, indeed. Get get another console, I reckon. It could be the disc drive, though. <laughs> get get the uh, game that may not be named set up. We can't say that on stream. So to explain what's going on, we're, there's some discussion about swapping the entire console itself, the which is uh, probably the the best opportunity for it now. So we're gonna have to keep you entertained while that all yeah. happens. So the best, the reason you want to swap the entire console is because like it could just be the disc, um, but it's better to replace the disc and the console yeah, because like most likely it's. It's either, it's either the disc is dirty or it's the the laser itself is starting to give out. Burnout laser, yeah. yeah. Optical media is, uh, yeah, well, it has a limited lifespan. Yeah. And these we use get a lot of use, obviously, because we... Thrash them. At all the tournaments and here we, meets here we and stuff. Them. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it should be pretty quick because you just replace all the cords. So mm. um, we should be able to get right back into the next game. Yep. Luckily, it happens at the beginning of a game rather than the middle of a game. No doubt. Yeah, and loading related, as you say. Yeah. We're not getting sound from this one, though. Because um, we, we usually can hear sound from the headphones. Yeah. Right? Um, um, we'd, we're not hearing the sound from the console. Like. This yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. got to resync the gamepad. Yeah, that makes sense. Sound. We c surely we can. Surely we should be able to sync it. We should be able to sync that one to the. Yeah, I mean. Okay. So we're just trying to get sound. Um, we just need to hunt down a gamepad. Because that's where we're getting the sound output from. We believe um, in the full experience here. Yeah. Auditory, visual, olfactory. We want. We want you guys to experience the whole game. Here at the big cheese. We believe in this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, zap. Yep, all right. That should hopefully be all of it because I saw the... Yeah, just going. wait. We need to get sound. I'll let you know when... Uh, Tasha, I'll let you know when sound's working. Nope. No sound yet. I think we're going to get some a little bit more... We're going to get some, a little bit... There, there we, we are. <laughs> we're back in the, business. The volume of the gamepad was set to zero. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Big okay hands. We technical difficulties. Uh, Thank you for sticking with us. But we're back, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. What can you do about it? You know, melee players they got CRTs. You know. Well, CRTs start to break over yep. over time as well. So. Yep. Such is life. Yep. All right. So let's just recap. We're coming back into the set. Juwon took game one. Uh, they were starting on Smashville. Yeah. So Juwon took game one in Smashville. It's Fearless wants to go straight back to Smashville. Um, on 1-0 up at the moment. The last game was pretty close, um, but Jordan had a, about a 50% lead at the end, so yeah, he, 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 he was in a good position and he, and he closed out the game, so. Yep. Appreciate your patience. Um, all right, game two. Bit of a rest break for them. In, I mean, I, yeah, in six days, we won't get after a break. Yeah. In six days, we won't have to deal with Wii U, so... Uh, because... And we won't have to read, uh, deal with, like, disc read errors. Yeah. I think, I think the cartridge would be a lot more consistent, right? That's right. It will be. Better loading times, hopefully, though. Um, yeah, but hopefully better loading times, but obviously Ultimate has a lot of content, so... Might, might not actually be, end up being better load times. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, game two. <laughs> Good start now. It doesn't get a follow-up from the grab. Nice. Hitting him the edge. Yeah, because he's just drawing re the ledge. Oh. So hard when Fox is next to you. His options are so strong. Yeah, like that. Landing in neutral again. You can't really cross Fox up because it's up to just hits from behind. Yeah. 
the back jab, he's dead. That's a, that's a true confirm uh, by the ledge, and Fox is just a silly character sometimes. Yep. I think Lewis wasn't, wasn't really expecting. Oh, that should have been a dead Fox as well, though. Okay. See how low he went from that border. Is that no? Okay. We grab. Oh, I missed it. It's hard life. I mean, Spiros definitely found his way to play in this uh, set. Be better, but he's doing so well this game. Okay, yeah. like considering he died at like 40 or something, like he was just doing so well. Hopefully, he can keep playing like he was there in that stock. Okay, it's fine. Oh, he's alright. And again, doing the stand yeah. down, he's done that so much in this uh, Nice. Nice follow up, okay. Doesn't get the platform extension. Nice, Hold, holds down just to get the hit above the ledge and Juan does drop shield. Nice, okay. Oh, this is rough. That's a lot of damage and he's probably gonna get mid, mid stage control again. Yeah. So he kind of has to, he has to give up space because Fox is so scary. Uh, and then just turn around up smash. Interesting. Yeah, all right. <laughs> was just, that was just like a random, randy turn around up smash to close the game. Yeah. All right. It's so hard when you die at like such an early descent the first stock. You gotta play so much better than you play the rest of the game. It looks like a lot of people have Start to take it easy. I'm not too sure if we're coming to the end of way two. Yeah, oh. we should we must be close by now. Feel like uh Rust versus is that a uh, nothing? I can't tell. From uh, yeah, yeah, I so. yeah. I couldn't tell because I couldn't see his face. That is who we've got. Alright, another Bayo Fox. Let's see what Russ learned from his first Fox match. But nothing definitely showing the uh, dominant Fox in this pool. Uh, well, I can't speak for it, at least on stream. Well, that's the second time we'll see the. Uh, the second time we'll see the Bayo versus the Fox from like Russ. Because he played Anus earlier against Anus earlier. So. That set went to game three, so this set will probably be similarly close, but it's hard to say. Punishable. Oh, it doesn't actually get punished. Yeah. Oh. Smash up B. Nice, okay. This box can uh, GI down and tech before the second if the side B will come out. That looks sense, obviously. A lot of damage here, but ledge, bad position to be. No. Uh, okay. I think he expected like a tech roll, but he just added it to the ground instead. He's letting his shield get really low. There we go. No, it's not it. <laughs> yeah. Precariously close. Yeah. <laughs> no, it won't kill quite. Okay. It won't kill quite yet, but. I'm not sure who I favor in like this high percentage scenario. I think. Fox has probably got an easier time just landing a raw hit. Bayo kind of has a rough time landing back heads against Fox because he has an easy time like running underneath. Oh. Just put it at the bare bottom position, he just couldn't make it back. Alright, yeah, we go. He uses his respawn ability, his ability, puts on a lot of pressure, he gets the back air. Six, six stocks, so he's actually in position, but which time it should be a lot of damage. I don't think it will kill though. Yeah. 
Um, I think he'll be jumping around back, yeah. Oh, damage. 84%. How does Bayer land? It's impossible. Yeah, the percentage is really stacked down here. He's standing there we go. Because he was standing right outside of um Right out of right outside right outside of Rust's range to like try and uh, hit a shield with Uppy from the ledge or like do double jump fair from the ledge and then to Rust is like, okay, he's standing far enough away that maybe I'm just safe to do regular get up, but that gets covered by the board smash. So just 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 smart uh, just smart options by nothing, basically. Baits Rust into doing something that's punishable. Up yeah, it's what I'm Back here. Okay. Doesn't get a kill. I'm kind of unfortunately. I think he was probably in a position to, but. Nice. Okay, actually, nice tech as well to get the punish on the downing. Got some problems. All right, I'm being attacked by an umbrella. He's not lying. Oh, that was an yeah. It's not <laughs> All right, we're, we're basically the windows got open, you know, to let some air in, and uh, we had the umbrellas kind of blocking the sunlight just to keep the room a little bit cooler. But it got like blown away. Nice tech. Oh, tech. He's fine. Yeah. He's doing. He's living. Super high percentage. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay, that wouldn't kill, but yeah. Alright. Aw, oh, tries to like uh, trade with the nail with his own back air, but this is scary because if he if uh, Rust can just get a grab and get the kill, but there we go. That's the scary thing about going for dash tech. The dash tags were working out for Rust in his previous set versus Anus, but if they get shielded, uh, you just die. Down air is a strong move. I think that was down air, it might have been there. Okay. He gets the combo, but it puts himself at the ledge, which kind of like now it's uh, really nothing, tough nothing to took it. Yeah, took advantage. Of it. Took advantage of it for a little bit of extra damage. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just with those. Yeah. Which time is like too slow to come out in between those as well. There's not not a lot you can do. Damage. Patience, patience. Uh, yeah, I think he just was a bit scared to pull the trigger on like a board air. There we go. Yep, nice. He's gonna take it. Really quality. And oh yeah, that's the set. On stream at least. I, I would be interested to see the, the, all the matches, but yeah. very dominating, winning all of his games. Yeah. I guess Russ, no scrub. Russ was a little bit greedy because what he was trying to do was just like, oh, um, Nothing's holding his shield up the ledge. So I can just, you know, up be it, back air, jump back air, you know, up be back. I've just put a lot of shield damage. But between between the up and the back air, is a lot of time uh, for nothing. So just drop shield down smash. So Russ could have gone for a little bit safer shield pressure, and he wouldn't have, that wouldn't have been an issue. But probably going to see Fox versus Marth, I think. Yes. Yeah. I think Vox has got a slight edge in this matchup. Marth has a tough time dealing with rushdown characters, which you'd expect in like archetypically, like uh, you know, like a Zona versus a rushdown. Uh, you'd expect the rushdown rush to have an advantage, or, like uh, by good game design, you'd expect that to be the case. So. Putting up shield, putting down shield, you know, he doesn't yeah. want to waste it's his shield, like let he wants to wow, just it's super low. Yeah. There it is. What? It has a punish. Okay. Oh, oh I respect that. that. Um Interesting start to the game. Alright. <laughs> still going. Yeah, you know if you get a little shield break, you might as well make it up to Yeah. He 
does back air to cover like a ledge jump, and but he's uh, moving forward, so it also covers as well with the up tilt. Ooh, That's a lot. Oh, I think he was holding out as well. <laughs> yeah. He's dead. Stage, Goes too low. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Basically, that Zipper App Smash from across the stage basically got him to stop. <laughs> That's dead. Just once again demonstrating how tough it is to get back on stage. And small, especially. Yeah. Nice. He's doing a really good job of getting him off zone, which is obviously what you want to do. And Fox is a really, is really good at it. But. Nice. It's a lot of damage. You don't want to hold shit too long on the ledge against Marv because they can always just Go drop down and yeah. shield breaker, yeah. Nice. Alright, doesn't get a follow up there. But, off stage. Yeah. It's really hard for Marv to cover the side B back. Uh, but he's, oh, but he's doing a really back good job. Right. Nice, That's, that should be it. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah okay. Wow, oh, you're doing everything in his power to stay in. Wow. Do you want, yeah. Oh, that's it. Ooh, yeah. I like the counter, but... Yeah, it's it's just one option, basically. Yeah. If you don't get it. Nice. Awesome plays. Yeah, I, I expected Set Out to be able to recover, like to cover all of Juan's recovery options, but Juan managed to like thread the needle and get through, yep. and then uh, seal the stock from it. So, uh, very well played. Three, two, one, go! Back to the stage. Oh, I did. Nope. There we go. Just, just gets in so easily with the upsets. Yeah. There we go, that's fine to do. Again, damage. Alright. So the mix up when Marth does side B on your shield is that uh, they can do the third hit before you can shield grab, but you can always shield grab between the third and the fourth hit. So basically it's a mix up between hits one and two, or if they're gonna do like, uh, like if they do one, two and stop and you're expecting the third hit, then you won't get a punish, but there we go. That's just such a good edge coverage though. Um, the last couple of times, Sad Howard had jumped from ledge and got caught by back air, and this time he tried to roll and just go and ready when up smash. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of boxes go for the forward there drag down. Um, it hasn't worked out for any of them, the other contestants always checked, but. That works. Yeah, I like how Sad Howard's play right now. He's okay. Wow! I'm surprised. That must have two frames. I don't know. That was a really weird hitbox. But that worked. That worked. Nice, perfect shield. Uh, rolling back to get grab. Yep. So, Sad I was trying to cover like the on stage side B, and Jordan's like, now nah, I'm just going to ledge. No air dodge? Alright. Yeah, it's a strange trade, oh, I like that option, the F smash. If you're on air dodges, that probably be a stop. Oh. Nice. Yeah, there we go. As soon as the third hit comes out, that's a money. It doesn't get the last hit of the down air, so it doesn't confirm. No roll, only just slot up. On platform though, it's kind of rough, especially on the ledge. There you go. He's got a couple of options, you know. He can try and jump, he can try and roll, but Jordan seems to have his number every, every, every time he got the ledge. He's just calling out the right options. I wonder how many more games okay, we've so got we from must this. Be uh, close. Um, I'm not too sure. Yeah. Where is one or two more? Fair enough. So, 
the waves have basically started to resolve themselves now, but it's all being done on paper, so yeah. you know, check the uh, brackets on Smash GG once they're all uh, yeah. finished and you'll I'll see what the next wave looks like. I like doing the pools on paper and then uploading them all at once to Brack, like to Smash GG. Yep. I think that's a good way to do it. Who have we got? Oh, here Young we go. Taco. I think he... This man is on zero sleep right now. All right. Huh? Did Taco just get hit? So it just happened to more on stream? Yeah. Taco has got three sets on stream. Which is like, I don't know if he, I don't know if he wants that because he's still there, yeah. Yep. Um, well, this, you know, that's it. Turn up and uh, this on man, time. This man was bartending yesterday, um, like for the for here, and then he had his job afterwards, like throughout the night, and then probably he took a nap and came here. <laughs> like, so. Time to go on, like. Just here to have a good time. Yeah, that's the best thing about this time is uh, everyone's in really nice spirits. Like, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward to day two as well. Mega Man okay, Villager. Yeah. Go Sheik! All this man talks about is that how he doesn't like Villager and how shit Villager is. And now he's picking the character. Yep. Oh well. Oh faithful. Yeah. But I mean Villager has a, is a lot, it's a lot easier to cheese out games of Villager than like a lot of other characters. Just get a bowling ball randomly. Go and smash it. Some shenanigans going on. I can't quite work out what's happening. But all right, into it. Right. Actually, why is this on? <laughs> We're about to have like an 18 minute set. Yeah, this is uh, um, four? Oh, yeah. a. Four? Could get someone to weep it or something. <laughs> At least we're not, yeah, at least it's not Pac-Man that's weak here. Something disgusting like that. Yeah. Someone there. He's doing alright. Oh. <laughs> Back there it's on that position. Touch. Pretty scared. Luckily, Mega Man's down there and he has like pretty short range, so. Mm, Death Pack beating out the. Uh... That's dead. Oh! Little oh. blade in hands. He's dead? Interesting. Okay. Alright. This is, uh. Yep. A very, yeah. The set is what it promised to be. Oh no. Okay, so the Lloyd blocks the down air. That's pretty good. Yes. Oh. What do you do? These combos are doing no damage, but they're cool. <laughs> yeah. No footstool combo is out of taco. With yeah. the uh, with the stolen metal blade, four form. Yeah. Oh Jesus, the almost like, yeah, yeah. Double dash tag, triple dash tag, I don't know he's, uh, Yeah, I think he's having a good time. Oh, he's alright. Oh, no, no stage back. Nice, yeah. outspace is the four there. There we go, the extra damage into up air, but it gets the RNG not on his side right now. Gets a gets a one turn of up air for all his work. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, neither do I, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's, uh, Rush camping. Yep. Still got... Oh, he's got the left. leaves. The unpunishable leaves. Oh, I can snipe him with the dash. Though. I think he wants a footstool. What do you reckon? He's posturing himself in that sort of a way. Yeah. And this is a man that will always go for style. He's dead. Yep. Why would you hold away? <laughs> it's a uh, high emotional, high stakes, 
set here. <laughs> Everything's on the line. Jiggly. Oh, oh, Jiggly oh, yeah. oh. Mario. Yeah. yeah. We've seen some garbage from Mario already. Taking for town. Yeah, cheese him. Yes. I, I hope Jigglypuff dies at 0%. Three, two, one, go. I expect uh, Taco to get to 40. Oh, the shield breaker. Oh. Uh, break it again. Um, oh, boy, I, well, I, can't turn I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on there, but he's, he's, got, he's actually... And Anus is uh, paying it back. And for those of you watching, this is, this is definitely set. Um, this is apparently a tournament set, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. All right, well, at least they're playing now, sort of. I, I, but he's not really playing, is he? Oh, all right. He actually outspaces the sink. I mean, it's a terrible move, so it's not surprising. But. Yeah, but it can happen. You just yep. underestimate it. And, uh, that is that set over. Thank, yeah. thank, thank God. <laughs> Can we, can we DQ both ways? <laughs> Just saying. Lofty highs and yeah. low lows. Low, was, low, low. Yeah. Should be another attack over someone. He says it like he's proud that he was part of the worst set of yeah. <laughs> history. So Anus is contending it's the worst set of Australian Smash history. Saying it's something to, but like he's saying it like it's something to be proud of, which is just, uh, I don't know about that one. Make of it what you will. Uh, we still don't know yet if we have any more stream matches. Yeah. Huh. All right. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, to end on a high note, that was it. That's we finished with wave two. Um, we're gonna be back later on with four o'clock. So, is this it? Four p.m. Adelaide time. So, you know, for the majority on the east coast, it's like four thirty. Yeah. But 4:30. Uh, yep, Australian Central Standard Time, four o'clock with dubs, dubs. Yep, top 16 at 11, 11 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, yep. Thanks nice. for joining us, and uh, stay tuned. We've got more coming up. Yeah, we'll be back soon for doubles, but for now, I think we're signing off. Yep, thank you.